Hi, my name is Destiny and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would just quickly share some of my favorite easy to reach for perfumes. These perfumes are pretty much like non-offensive for the most part. Um, they're pretty much easy to reach everyday fragrances that you could wear. They're also fragrances that you could wear if you don't love like super strong heavy fragrances. Sometimes I just get really burnt out of those super heavy fragrances. So these are pretty much my go-tos and especially considering it's pretty hot outside, these have been kind of like a lifesaver for me. So if you wanna see what they are, please keep watching. So the first one I have here is like one of my all time favorite fragrances. And this is like clean, really soapy, think fresh laundry, but like better, if that makes any sense. And this is Blanche by Byredo. And you can see I've used this a lot. So this is just like a ton of aldehyde, aldehydes. Am I saying that right? Aldehydes. This is a ton of aldehydes in this fragrance. Honestly, it just smells like really clean, like soapy, like you just soaked yourself in a bubble bath and you got out and you're like sweet clean. That's exactly what this reminds me of. I tend to wear this pretty much every day. There was a time where I was spraying it so much, like I wore it every single day for a month. This doesn't have anything super special or I know it's a niche brand, but I think just the way that aldehydes are done in here, smell really amazing to me personally. I've smelled some aldehyde fragrances that I do not like. They're like really screechy, if that makes any sense. So this has been like my all-time favorite. I want to get a 100 ml bottle of this one. In terms of longevity, it does not last long. I will say that I feel like this is a scent that I wear because I love the scent, I love the smell, and not because I intend to get like beast mode uh, projection or anything like that. I have gotten a compliment, however, on it, but most of the time I'm usually around the house when I wear it or if I'm going to the grocery store, I'll put it on, um, but it's not really something I wear out out. Sometimes I do um, if I'm just want to spray something, but I can't handle like a super heavy fragrance, then I will wear it, but this is Blanche by Byredo. The second perfume that I have here is from Kaeli, and this is Kaeli Musk 12. You can see how much I've used from this big, huge bottle that I got. Well, it's not that big. It's like 50 milliliters. Um, I've had this for about maybe a year now, so I feel like I'm it's going pretty well. I definitely will buy the 100 ml bottle when I'm done with it. This, I'm actually wearing this right now, is just like a super... Um, clean but sweet skin scent to me so this reminds me of clean reserve um the skin clean reserve skin i think that's the name of the perfume however to me personally i don't know what it is every single clean reserve fragrance i have smelled so far has this very almost like chemically note to it when I smell it. I don't know what it is, but I can't get behind Clean Reserve skin. And I feel like Kayali did this. It almost smells so identical, except to me personally, it doesn't have that like metallic, strange scent in the back. I don't know. Anyways, so this is one of my favorite perfumes. Again, I said I'm wearing it. It's sweet. It's a little salty. It smells exactly like your skin, to be quite honest. I did wear this the other day and I did get tons of compliments, but I did layer this. So I layered this with another 13, but the fragrance oil, I am, the fragrance oil I got was from Oil Perfumery. I will also link it down below and I layered it on first and then put this on. So it's like just a perfume oil and then I put this on all over and I got so many compliments and I was like smelling myself the whole entire day and I smelled so good. So if you want to try the combination, you definitely should. But this is Kaeli Musk, number Kaeli Musk 12. The next perfume I have here isn't necessarily, I would consider like a musk or skin scent. 
It's more of like a citrus scent, but it's really light and I thought that I would share it with you guys and surprisingly it lasted me all night one time and my mom complimented me the other morning. So this is Vibrant Vibrancy Adventures. Uh, this is the Captivating Memories collection with Zara and Jill Malone. So Zara has been coming out with like a ton of collaborations with different um, perfumers, which I really, really enjoy. And I feel like at this point I'm semi collecting them because I'm a huge, huge Jill Malone fan, to be quite honest. I do love scents that lean more um, realistic smelling that just tends to be my personal favorite to be honest and I think that Joe Malone does realistic smells really really well I fell in love with Woods Agent Sea Salt like almost four years ago and that was kind of like my introduction to Joe Malone and I've been I've purchased so many bottles since then and I've repurchased um, with Sage and Sea Salt as well since then. So when they come out with these fragrances with Jo Malone and Zara, I do absolutely adore them. So I go to Zara if I can get my hands on them and I smell them before I buy them. And this was the one personally that's just stuck out to me the most out of all of them. The other ones personally were just too sweet. Now, some people say, I will say, that it reminds them of Sprite. It does not remind me of Sprite, but I can kind of see what they're where they're going. It does have like a fizzy, sparkly, lemony scent to it. Very citrusy. It's just completely for the summer. I I mean, you could wear fragrance whenever you want to, let's be honest. But um, the other day I had sprayed this to go to bed. So this is like one of my everyday perfumes as well. Um, I love citrus, I'm a really big citrus girl and just citrus and florals are have my heart and musks. <laughs> and so I sprayed this, I went to bed, you know, nine hours, eight hours later, I woke up, I still had it on like my, like my nightgown and I like hugged my mom or something. She's like, oh my gosh, you smell like so good. You smell so good this early in the morning. And I was like, it's from Zara. And it lasted on my clothes. She could still smell me the next day. So I thought that was really, really amazing because that's the first time I've wearing it for a while and I haven't really gotten a compliment. And t usually my mom is so used to me wearing fragrances, she just doesn't even bother to say anything anymore. So check it out and it's super inexpensive, which I like it. And I think they did a really cute job on the bottle. I do like the fact that when they come up with the collabs, they think about the bottles first because it just looks nice on your vanity or whatever. The very last perfume I have is from Glossier and it's Glossier U. I feel like everyone and their mom has tried this perfume except for me. So I live in Canada and the only way that you can actually buy it up until recently was if you bought it online and I don't like paying for shipping. I don't like thinking that I might have duties to pay for. So I held out and held out and I kept saying, okay, I'm gonna buy it. And then it just kind of, one of those things where I never ended up buying. And then I found out it was coming to Sephora here in Canada and I got really excited. So as soon as it dropped, I bought it. And I must say, I do, I don't know exactly what I was expecting. Cause I know people kind of said like, it smells like your skin and it smells different on everybody. But on my skin, I feel like it goes, I get like, what smells like like ambroxan and okay so <laughs> smells like skin florals and a little chemically from like the ambroxan or like it reminds it smells exactly like ambroxan to me just because i have like molecule one and two and it kind of reminds me of those fragrances I've also noticed that throughout the day I tend to get whiffs, but I don't actually really know what I'm smelling and I don't know if it's just me personally, but I'm smelling like florals, but not really when I wear this fragrance. So I'll get like a whiff and I'm like, oh, that smells so good. What is that? I'm like, that cannot be the Glossier You perfume that I'm wearing. It just, I don't know, when it mixes with your body chemistry, it just smells so different i get like a bunch sometimes i get like a, what smells like you know roses iris a little powdery a little floral that's what it smells like to me and then sometimes i personally don't even recognize the scent i've also been using it to layer other fragrances so sometimes i'll spray this on and then i'll put other fragrances um on top but i've also liked wearing it like that as well i'm kind of really big into layering right now at the moment so i've been layering a ton of my fragrances. 
Let me know if you have any of your favorite skin scents, everyday scents, easy to wear scents, I guess is what this video mostly is. So I would love to know what you wear every single day or what your easy reach perfumes are. So please leave a comment down below. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.